Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to read repeatedly from an analog input, calculate the running average, and print it to the serial monitor using the MSP430 G2 Launchpad with Energia. This example is useful for smoothing out the values from jumpy or erratic sensors, and also demonstrates the use of arrays to store data. The code we'll see in a minute sequentially stores 10 readings from your analog sensor into an array, one by one. With each new value, the sum of all the numbers is generated and divided, producing an average value which can be used to smooth outline data. Because this average takes place each time, a new value is added to the array, rather than waiting for 10 new values for instance. There is no lag time in calculating this running average. Altering the size of the array used by changing num readings to a larger value will smooth the data collected even further. Connect the three wires from the potentiometer to the launch pad board. The first goes to ground from one of the outer pins of the potentiometer. The second goes from 3 volts to the other outer pin of the potentiometer. The third goes from the analog input A3 to the middle pin of the potentiometer. By turning the knob of the potentiometer, you change the amount of resistance on either side of the wiper, which is connected to the center pin of the potentiometer. This changes the voltage at the center pin. When the resistance between the center and the side connected to 3 volts is close to zero, and the resistance on the other side is close to 10 kilo ohms, the voltage at the center pin nears 3 volts. When the resistances are reversed, the voltage at the center pin nears 0 volts, or ground. This voltage is the analog voltage that you're reading as an input. The launch pad has a circuit inside called an analog to digital converter that reads this changing voltage and converts it to a number between 0 and 1023. When the knob is turned all the way in one direction, there are 0 volts going to the pin, and the input value is 0. When the knob is turned all the way in the opposite direction, there are 3 volts going to the pin, and the input value is 1023. In between, analog read returns a number between 0 and 1023 that is proportional to the amount of voltage being applied to the pin. Now let's get started. First, plug your launch pad to your computer over USB. Next, let's open up Energia. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Analog, Smoothing. In the code example, we initialize variables for the number of readings we are going to take, the array where we store the readings, the index of the current reading, the running total, and the average. Note that the array index is set to zero. This is because arrays are zero indexed, meaning the first position in the array is A0. We also set our input pin variable to pin A3. You can do these initializations before or inside the setup function, the major point being that the code executes only once before the loop function begins. Initializing variables in the loop function will cause the variables to be declared every single time, which is not good practice. In the setup function, we also want to initialize our serial communication to 9600 baud and set the values in our array to zeros at the beginning. Next, we move to the loop function. We subtract the last reading from the total. On the first iteration, this will be zero. We use analog read to take a reading and store it into the array. We add the readings to the total and index the array to the next position. The next if statement checks if we reach the end of the array and recess the index back to the beginning. We calculate the average by dividing the total by the number of readings and print that to the serial monitor. Yep. And that's it. Press the verify and download button, open up the serial monitor, and watch the value change more smoothly as you adjust the potentiometer.